with Kirby. Today I'm going to show you a Raspberry Pi Zero case I made in Fusion 360. Here's the case. And here's the case with a Pi in it. Before I show you the finished product, I gotta show you all the failures that I made or ones that I needed to tweak the design a tad with. So let's see the B roll. So I have two different designs for the top of the pie case. We have this one with teeth here that you just glue or press fit in. Then we have this one here that gives you access to the GPIO pins. And then the bottom has this cool face. And then we set the pie in there. So I'm going to grab that. So you just kind of angle it in a bit. And then there's these little standoffs that go to about the height of the board. That'll hold the pie in and stop it from moving around. So, and then we have two little snap fits here. That'll snap the, the top on. So this whole case needs no hardware, which is great. You can just print it out and use it. So now it's snapped on. So you see, it's, it's on pretty decent. Gives you access to the pins right here. Over here we can still use the HDMI port or the USB or the power. The SD card, might need a tweezers to kind of get the SD card in and out of there. It's a tight fit. But what I like about this hat is, or this case, is that I can put hats on it. So I have my Pimeroni Fat DAC here. We just kind of line it up. Press it in. And ta-da! Uh, the other case snaps apart just the same way. And now you have a cool little face. Here I'm going to show you how to make some changes to the file in Fusion 360 to make your own design. I'd also like to thank Noah Ruiz at Adafruit. He showed me some changes I could make to this design. And he also designed the snap fit that we used to keep them closer together with no hardware. So we have the so we have the Pi Zero case loaded now that's plain and doesn't have anything designs on the top or the bottom. So let's start with the design on the top. Also make sure to orientate the cutouts for the ports for if you want them to come out the top or the bottom of your design. So we'll click Sketch Project. We'll click the top. We want to select the standoffs that are under the lid here. This way, whatever we put for a design on the top doesn't cut into those. Hit OK. So let's just draw some circles on the top here. A little close to the top, but it'll work for the demo. So, a little circle. See on our keyboard, let's make another one. Alright, now we need to give our little guy a mouth. We'll use slot. I'm going to pick down the center here. Pick how far we want to go. That looks good. Alright, now we'll stop our sketch. Now you want to make this into a cutout, so we'll extrude them. But for the distance, we want to go just to the bottom of the top cover. So we'll be able to view, we'll go distance 2, and then we'll select the bottom. Doing it this way, 
allows you to make a change later on. If you thicken the cover, you don't have to go through and change your extrusion because you picked two. Hit OK. Oh, looks like I had a little piece in the way here, but we'll just leave that for now. So here's our little. Ah, let me go back home. So there's our little top cover. And now let's just do something on the bottom. Let's hide the top. I'll go back down here. Sketch. Project. We want to leave these standoffs again. So let's just pick those. Alright. And let's try just making a big cutout. So let's do offset. And let's just keep scrolling it down until it gets within the standoffs. That looks good. Alright. Stop our sketch. Same thing as before. Extrude and then choose the other side. So there we have a big cutout just in case you're never going to look at that side. Saves a little material. I'll view all of our parts. So there you go. That's how you make your own design on the case. Now you probably want to save this so you can print it. So you just right click on each half and just click save as STL.